What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here and it is August 30th, 2016. So I am uh, at my computer right now. It's like uh, just afternoon uh, on the Pacific Coast, and um, got a couple of things to do today. Got to hit the gym. Got to shower. Got to get to uh, shave my beard and stuff. Clean that up. Get to the um, post office to drop off some 0.5 CC items. And if you guys didn't know, 0.5 CC, which is my clothing company. Um, is having like a big sale going on. I want to get a lot of new stuff for um, as like as late as October 1st. I want to have a new a relaunch of some new designs, new hats, new styles and stuff like that. Uh, but I really need to get out and push out the old stuff before I have the like financial backing to get more stuff in, you know. Um, so go check out 0.5cc.com if you want to catch up on those sales. Otherwise, um, I wanted to talk, you know, I'm having a conversation, a Facebook conversation right now, and I'm not going to say who it's with because I don't want to call them out, but I will say it's a trans guy who's pretty popular, um, just had a big rise um, in this last year. And we're just kind of talking about haters. And, you know, not even like, I don't even like the word haters, right? Because like nine times out of ten, these people don't really hate you. Um, they just either one, they don't like what you're doing and the way you're doing it. Two, um, they don't feel uh, good enough in themselves to accomplish maybe what you've accomplished, so they don't think that they'll ever do it, so it's unrealistic. Um, you know, pretty much usually I feel like I really believe that when you hate on someone, it's just like a reflection of yourself, your lack, or something like that. Just like I also feel like when someone hates on me, what they're saying is just a reflection of my insecurities, my, you know, my self-worth, my lack of, um, you know, of feeling, uh, you know, confident in myself, right? So everything's just a reflection off of one another. So there's a lot of hate in the trans community, specifically in the trans male community. Whether you're trans male feminine or trans male masculine or gender non-conforming but identify in the on the trans male uh, spectrum. So everyone's hating on each other and people are starting to give up on themselves. And I think it's pretty realistic. If you attack someone enough, they're gonna start believing the things that you say. I mean, I've had a rough month myself, and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which, you know, um, I have, like, if you want to keep up with me, like, super live, you should follow me on Instagram, because I, I post almost daily, I try to post daily, um, and it's always a reflection, like, what I post is usually a reflection of how I'm feeling that day, very, very honest, I try my, like, I, I'm just all about being honest and authentic, why not, right? So, um... There's, you know, I had a rough month myself, and there's a lot of hate going on in the community. And I don't know if it's because some people are getting more attention than other people. I don't know if it's because, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I think we would just be stupid if we said that, you know, um, there's just... There, I think it's weird that we're all hating on each other in the male community when we don't even have representation on a big level. Um, yeah, if you're in the trans community online and you follow people on YouTube and you have friends on Facebook and you follow people on Instagram, yeah, sure, you can probably list off three or four people that a couple, that most trans men will know. So, we're hating on each other and like beating each other down because we don't think that the other person's doing something right. But, nobody even sees us. We're like, we're like at our own event hating on each other that we're not getting representation and we're not being represented properly. But like nobody's seeing us people. We are invisible, okay? Like we really are. I really truly believe this. Like they don't know about trans men. They just don't and I don't know why. I'm still going through the reasons why maybe they do, like why they don't care about trans men. The media, the world, nobody cares. I'm not sure why. 
they don't want to listen to us. They want to look at us and they want to talk about us and they want to say that there was a trans person here, a token trans person, you know, but they don't want to listen. Same thing with like all the haters in our own community, in our little silent tea that is not as silent as maybe we all think it is because we all talk a lot amongst ourselves. Um, you know, we're hating on each other and it's just like, we're gonna destroy each other. We're gonna destroy each other. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to be its own video, but it kind of became one. So, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's hard for everyone, guys. It doesn't matter if I have 100,000 followers on Instagram. It doesn't matter if you have 100 followers on Instagram. When someone says something mean, it hurts. So, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just feel like we have to remember that everyone's human and that this is a fight that we're all going through. This is not a fight for one particular kind of trans person. Um, and especially in the trans male community, like, there's no one way to be trans. You don't have to be ripped and you don't all, but you also don't have to be femme. I mean, you know, like, it, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed for being trans femme and you shouldn't be ashamed for being trans masculine as long as you're not downgrading the opposite. If you're trans femme and making fun of trans masculine people, then maybe you should reevaluate your, your life. And if you're trans masculine and you, you know, are making fun of trans femme, then maybe you should reevaluate your life. I mean, it's crazy, man. Like, we're all, like, in this together. We need to come together and help each other. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. It's about love. That's what it's about. And, it, you know, like, if you have something really negative to say, like, Go in the mirror, say it to yourself, see how you feel, and then decide if you're gonna say it to that same person. Because you can have an argument through conversation and we can have learning opportunities without like beating down someone. If you're gonna beat, you know what bullying is? Like the true definition of bullying? It's when you try to change someone's perspective or opinion to match your own. That's what bullying is. So all these haters that are saying like, you should be doing this or doing that, they're bullies. They're bullying you. Unfortunately, bullying does not stop after middle school and high school. It continues in the world today. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. And if you agree, share this video, like the video, comment below, what do you think? Let me know. But if you're gonna comment and hate, don't waste your time. I think I'm gonna start deleting hateful comments that are just like blatantly hateful. Not ones that are evoking conversation or a difference of opinion. I agree with those comments. But if you're just gonna leave some bullshit, mean ass comment, consider it to be deleted. The minute you hit send, it will be not there. So I think it's only fair. I think it's right. I think it's okay to delete mean comments. I think it's okay to stand up for yourself, but I don't think it's okay to put someone else down in order for you to stand up for yourself. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.